Hello, in today's video, we are going to talk about the three essential techniques of referencing in electrical control diagram. Electrical control diagrams are very hard and confusing to read when we do not understand. Kindly pay attention and at the end of this video, you will understand diagram reference numbers and interpret electrical control diagrams. We are going to start with line reference numbers. Line reference numbers are read from top to down. These are the horizontal lines. These are the vertical lines. We are going to read the horizontal lines. One. This is two. This is line three. Line number three. Line number four. Line number five. Line number six. Line number seven. And then line number eight. This is the line reference numbers. We only reference the horizontal lines. Now let's move on to the next one, which is numerical cross referencing. Numerical cross referencing helps us to identify the location of components and contacts in the control diagram. So in this diagram, we are coming to identify the number of contacts on each coil devices. In numerical cross referencing, our main interest is to locate the number of contacts on these coil devices CR1, M1, CR2, CR3. We put the numbers in parentheses at the right side on each of these coil devices. So we open our parentheses. We are going to locate the contact on this CR1 that has been used in the control circuit. So let's see line one. On line one, we don't have contact on CR1. On line two, we have CR1. So you write the two here. Comma. Let's move on to line three. On line three, we have CR1 here. Write three. Comma. Line number four. Of CR1. Line number five. CR1. Line number six. You don't have. Line number seven. You don't have. Line number eight. You don't have. So these are the numbers that we have. Let's move on to M1. Let's open the parentheses. M1. Line number one, you don't have. Line number two, you don't have. Number three, you don't have. Number four, you don't have. Number five. Number six. Line number seven. Line number seven. Line number eight. Only seven. CR2. CR2. Line number one. We have one. Line number two. We don't have. Line number three. We don't have. Line number four. We don't have. Line number five. We don't have. Line number six. We don't have. Line number seven we have seven line number eight we don't have one and seven cr3 cr3 line number one and we don't, don't have number two we don't have number three we don't have number four we don't have number five we don't have Number six, you don't have 
number seven we don't have number eight we have only line number eight so these are the numerical cross referencing now how can we identify whether this contact is open contact or closed contact we do that by underlying that particular contact so let's move on to cr1 again cr1 we have line number two it is open contact it is here because it is open you will not underline you only underline the closed contact line number three we have cr1 so we underline this three indicating that it is a closed contact we only have only one closed contact on cr1 let's come to m1 we don't have any closed contact it is open contact this contact it is on line number one closed contact so we underline the one and then line number seven we have cr2 which is open contact cr3 line number eight it is open contact these underlined numbers indicate they are closed contacts now we are done with the numerical cross referencing the third one is wire reference numbers wire reference numbers helps us to locate various wires that connect the component and contact in the control diagram the numbers are assigned from top left to bottom right wire reference numbers helps us to wire or connect devices without mixing any cable so now we are going to label this wires these cables we have here our control transformer the input is 415 volt the output is 230 volt step down transformer so we have line one and then line two because it is 230 the line two is neutral we are going to name this whole line one so this line is going to be one this whole line is going to be one because it is line one this vertical line is going to be line two which is neutral in that sense this line will be two will be two here we tapped from the line one to one side of the stop button meaning that this side will be one the other side of the stop button will be three since we are having two here this side will be three this cable is three this cable will be four or this wire this side will be five this side is two now we tap from the three to one side of the open contact therefore this side will be three we tap from the four on the start button to this side to be four because the same cable now let's move on to this line this line will be one this side will be six because our last number was five the next number will be six so this line is six this line is two this line will be one this line will be seven because our last number was six here will be seven this line will be two one this line will be eight this side will be two this side will be one this line will be nine this side will be two we tap from this cable or this wire which is here so it means that this side will also be nine this side will be ten this side would be eleven this line will be eleven this side will be two now we have tapped from the nine point to this side so this side will be nine and you also tap from the eleven 
this side to this side so this cable will also be level at the same time we tap from the same level to this side so this line will also be level this side will be true this is the wire reference numbers these numbers helps us to wire control panels so easily without mixing any numbers at the same time when you are doing fault troubleshooting these numbers would also guide you to know where each cable or wire is connected this brings us to the end of today's video it looks a bit confusing but if you watch it a few more times you will surely grab the whole concept there are more interesting videos in this channel you don't want to miss and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos let's meet in the next video thank you